and welcome. I'm Solo, and this is ZN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how to update your ASRock motherboard. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. In this example, I will be using an ASRock X570 PG Riptide, but if you're not using the same motherboard that I am, that's fine. The process will be the same for most ASRock motherboards. If you're not sure what your motherboard is or what BIOS version you're on, you can restart your computer and spam the delete button. This is just gonna load you into the BIOS. From here, at the top, you'll just be able to read off the UFI version and you'll be able to see it's P5.63 is the version. Now, just to get out of here, we can just go to the exit. It's going to say save changes and exit. Just give that one there a click and, and click the yes here to continue. Now it's just going to restart and load back into Windows. Make sure that you write your information down so that you have it for to search into Google here later. Once your computer loads back up, we're just going to go over to Google and we're going to search for the ASRock X570 PG Riptide and we're going to be able to click the first link that should load you up to the ASRock's website. Make sure that it's the official website though and then we're just going to scroll down over here. It's going to say support and then it's going to give us a bunch of options here in little red tabs, download and the BIOS one. For us, we're going to download the 5.63. This is the version that I've already updated to because I've definitely tested this out a couple of times. But we're just going to download the global version. We're going to click OK. It's just going to tell you here to please read the information below before downloading and updating the BIOS. It tells you here if you're not experiencing any issues to keep your current BIOS or firmware. But I definitely should not. You should definitely not follow this here information. You should definitely keep your BIOS up to date with all the different risks and vulnerabilities that have just barely been recently updated. If you have an older BIOS, you may be at risk. So it's definitely good to keep it upgraded. Once it's downloaded, we're just gonna to go to the downloads folder. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna extract all. And we're just gonna extract it here. This is just gonna open up a folder. We don't need to do anything to this. We're just gonna close it down. And now we're gonna to need to plug in a USB drive. So one second while I plug in a USB drive. When you plug a USB drive in, it should load up automatically. This is going to make things easier. All we're going to need to do is take this here fo folder that we've already zipped and just drag it over here into your USB drive. Once it's done, all we're going to need to do is restart the computer again. So we can close all this here stuff down. We can give this here a close and we're just going to need to restart our computer again. Okay, it's just going to take a few minutes to load up. We're going to spam the delete key again. We're going to go over here to the tools tab and at the very bottom it's going to say instant flash. We're going to click on the instant flash. Now it's going to say please make sure that you back up your BitLocker. If you've never heard of that or don't use it just click yes to continue. It's not something most people have. It says no image file detected. One second I have to one second I have to make sure the USB plug is plugged into a proper one. One second. Okay click yes. Now it should say the Riptide, it should definitely say your X570S PG Riptide and you should be able to select it. Do you want to continue? We want to click yes. And it should say do not power off during the UFEI update. And like I said, make sure you're doing like, be careful with this here. Definitely make sure you're not doing another stormy day where you have to worry about the power going out. You don't want to have to start this here over or have any issues with it. So make sure that you're not having any interruptions before you start this. This should only take a couple minutes and I'll get back with you. After it's done, uh, we're just going to need to click OK to restart. I think it'll restart automatically on its own if you don't click OK though. We're going to click OK and it's just going to go through the reboot process. We're going to spam delete to jump back into the BIOS. So there's a couple of things we want to change because we just did a BIOS update. Everything's going to be reset back to default settings. So there's a couple of things. Our RAM is now going to be like 2233 or something like that. It's going to be really slow when it should be uh, 3600. So we're going to load back into the BIOS to make sure that we change those things back. All right. Once it loads back up, we can see that the BIOS is the right version, but our RAM is DDR4-2133. So this should definitely be a quite a bit faster. So we're going to go over here to the OC tweaker to fix this here. The setting that we're going to look for is the XMP settings. It's going to be down here at the very bottom. It's going to be down here in the list where it says DRAM information. You're going to be able to load a DRAM profile. It has two profiles on here by the looks of it. We can pick the 3600 at 
uh, three, two, but it does have two options here. So even though we selected that, we're going to go down here to load up the XMP profile and make sure that we load the DDR4-3600. And you'll see everything here changed. That's perfect. After that, there's changed. All we're going to need to do now is exit and make sure that we save the settings and load back into Windows. So exit and save changes and exit. Click yes. It's going to do the same thing as last time. It's going to do a reboot. And then we'll jump back in. Once Windows loads back up, you'll know everything went smoothly and your RAM and everything will be set at the correct speeds. I just wanted to cover quickly how to update your BIOS for your ASRock motherboard. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye!